Hi, I'm Mike Mahan from SMA America's Solar Academy. In the video today, we're going to talk about firmware updates for our Sunny Island battery-based inverter. The firmware update process is clearly outlined in the manual, but what is required is an SD card, like the one that is shipped with the Sunny Island, and the most recent version of the firmware. The current version of the firmware can be found on the Downloads tab of the product page for the Sunny Island at sma-america.com. The firmware is a zipped file that will need to be expanded and the files copied to the SD card used for the firmware update. Before updating the firmware, it is a good idea to copy the current parameter set from the Sunny Island onto the SD card. This is clearly outlined in the manual and can be accessed through menu 550 on the Sunny Island. When the system is ready for the firmware update, it is time to place the Sunny Island master in standby mode. With the system in standby, we're ready to pull the SD card. Generally, we'll want to make sure that we are grounded before we touch the SD card. Now we're ready to put the files from the expanded zip folder onto the SD card. I've copied the files from the zip folder onto the original SD card, and that includes the update.bin file, which actually has the firmware update. So now we're ready to put this back into the Sunny Island and begin the update process. As the firmware update progresses, several different messages will scroll through the display screen of the Sunny Island. Just wait and allow the Sunny Island to reach the final screen where it says it's in standby mode. Please note that if you have a system with multiple Sunny Islands, the display messages will be slightly different. The firmware update needs only be done at the master. The master will take care of updating the slaves, but the process will take significantly longer, up to 20 minutes. Please give plenty of time for the firmware update to be completed. The screens that show are clearly outlined in the manual as well. For the single Sunny Island system, once the Sunny Island shows the standby screen, we're ready to recommission the system. That's all there is to updating the firmware for a Sunny Island. If you'd like to learn more about the Sunny Island battery-based inverter, please visit our website at sma-america.com. I'm Mike Mahan for SMA America Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.